So we've been doing some tests with the XM suit in Unreal. And one of the things that we found when setting up a VTuber type setup is you need to control what's going on in the stream. And normally we do this by keyboard keys or using your mouse. You don't really want to do that when you've got the full mocap suit on. As you can see, what you're doing, you end up sitting there in this kind of uh, pose all the time with your arms on the desk. So what we've been looking at is how can we add in triggers within the scene. So I've got these... Um, spheres and cubes set up and these can be rearranged in any way so this could be a console in front of you and like have buttons that you can press you could have them invisible and just have areas that you can gesture to so the spheres i've got set up so that they will trigger different camera moves so if i come forward and i touch that one we've got a different camera angle now we've got a close-up and we can go back if i can see where the sphere is so, you know, really simple. If I want to do a quick change, I can trigger that. And obviously what we would do is we would put these triggers probably down below somewhere so you can see them. Uh, so they're off the screen and nobody can actually see what you're doing. Again, like, there's a lot of other things that you can do. So on this one, we can trigger different lighting scenarios. Uh, set myself on fire. And then even change the environment that you're in um, so you know you can quickly cut cameras to different places transport you to different areas and then you know, trigger back there's a lot more that we can do to this and we're still trying to test out and try to work out the bugs so things like switching the character over i had a character set up where i turned into a demon though every time i try and do that with a trigger it crashes so we're just looking to have to do that and same with running animated sequences so I've got it set up if I press a key, it will run a sequence and then cut back to the live show. That has a lot of potential. With the animated sequences, we can change camera cuts, we can bring in other characters. You know, I was thinking about bringing in an alien that flies down. One thing that we're looking at working on is setting up a virtual band. So, you know, you can have the lead singer talking on YouTube in real time saying about the music, what he's going to do, hit a sequence and then that sequence then starts the, the rest of the characters and the rest of the band playing, they'll play the music, you can have camera cuts and then once it's finished it'll kick back into a real time show. So we just wanted to make a video just to show some of the things that we're working on and we'll keep posting up things as we develop and create new things um, and any ideas put them in in the comments. If there's things that you would like to see in a VTuber setup, let us know and it's something that we can take a look into as well. 